hello internet welcome back to another lesson in bootstrap uh, in this lesson we are going to cover buttons and glyph items okay uh, before i begin this lesson i need to correct some mistakes that i did in the first lesson which are uh, the first mistake was in the last div i have done a small mistake it was not the extra small it was a type of mistake uh, so uh, fix that. Uh, next, I change the document name to uh, index.html and in the CSS file, I did this, which this is what uh, I made all called LG classes that has the beginning name of called LG. Uh, if you didn't know, you can do this. This means select all the classes that has uh, that starts with call dash LG dash and anything after that so this means uh, this will select call lg6 call lg5 call lg4 anything and give it a background color of gray and same thing i did for the medium uh, devices classes as well and for the small and for the extra small as well so after doing that and adding some adding another class a uh, jumbotron class which gives you this this large div and giving it a heading as well and that's that what i did uh, so in the first lesson i also did uh, i uh, i taught you the offset which i hope you understood um, uh, let's uh, so uh, this is the column six and let's make it md now uh, as you can see it has been offset by two LGs now if I didn't do this if I remove this uh, no, remove not this I remove the offset it will start from the beginning as and in here now there's another mistake which uh, let's make this MD as well and the other thing is this part over here is blank this has nothing in it this is also wrong you shouldn't do this always make sure you complete the 12 columns now this has only eight so either I put an I'll put a offset call MD offset of four now it will start from here now it's completed okay mm, that's that uh, sorry about those mistakes again I am new to this okay so today we are going to let's start with uh, buttons there are a couple of classes which bootstrap has let's do uh, anchor tag and give it a class of btn and btn default take a look yeah that's uh, don't uh, consider the blue line over here it happens because of uh, this brackets live preview it highlights us what I have done so forget that you won't get uh, this border blue color border in the bootstrap it comes from the bracket software uh, let's copy this and uh, copy this few times actually and we have btn primary we have we have btn success as you can see in the prime uh, let's put a horizontal line below just to separate everything and this is the default button this is the primary this is the success and we have warning the orange color and danger the red and there's one more which is info yeah. okay those are the buttons uh, styles that we can have okay next we have uh, yeah we have we can give sizes to these buttons as well let me create a button element this time button with class of btn btn default and give it default button and put 
put it in a new line okay some more spacing and next we can give, make it this a primary and give it a btn lg which will, which gives you a large button there is uh, let's make it success and give it small which make it small and there is another one um, the button info and give it an extra small okay and another another class you should know is let's take another copy of this is the btn mm, block what that does is it takes the size of its if it takes separate this it takes the size of the parent element and takes the width of that we can make it small that expands the whole div parent element so this button split is equal to its parent element okay so that is buttons all of the button classes that have in bootstrap oh next let's move on to gif icons so in the earlier version of bootstrap glyph icons were images but in this they are they are fonts so let's take a look at them which make it make it is really good because we can enlarge them we can give them colors anything that you can do to a font you can do to a glyph icon so a glyph icon the class name please guys again and i want glyph icon search close the stand up let's save yeah we got the glyph icon and of course give it some space and uh, we can do let's give this a class of search icon and here in this uh, Actually, in this editor, you can do this. If it's the same thing of going to the CSS file and adding a class. So as you can see, we are in the CSS file. I this is brackets, and I did hit Control E, which gives us the style for that. So search icon, I want to give a font size of 20, uh, maybe 5 em, and the font, and I want to make the color red as you can see the color becomes 10 the uh, color becomes red and the font size becomes 5 em okay and next what you can do more is I'll escape out and we can add these glyph icons to buttons as well so let's take a button remove this you can have this as well let's copy this and paste it I'll remove the search icon class from this of course another break as you can see a beautiful button created mm, we can so I think that covers buttons and glyph icons uh, in Bootstrap. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment down below and please like my tutorials and subscribe if you haven't already. Sure. And yeah, thank you and have a good day. Bye.